ago, a small chipmunk-like population was thriving through their evident evolution and a persisting environment that began to outpace a rather simple canopy of trees, things resulted in change. As the fledglings of our human species progressed in brain size, they also began to develop more as social beings. Hi, my name is Krisha Dave, and my partner is Krupa Dave. Today, we are going to talk about the applications of body language, debunk some myths, and cover interesting forms of social expression. In fact, this entire theory of, of evolution is so grand that even archaeologists and historians haven't yet grasped the entire scientific and historical sense of human evolution. Yet, Charles Darwin may actually be onto something. If we as humans collectively descended from a small group of species 50,000 years ago, that might actually explain why we can express ourselves so similarly across the world, despite the language barriers. In fact, the key to this groundbreaking puzzle is something that we've come to call today as body language. This is attributed as a method of communication, which allows us to decode nonverbal signals and cues through gestures, posture, facial expression, and eye contact. It allows us to read and construe another person beyond what they can actually say. And contrary to popular belief, although speech has been an integral part of our communication repertoire today, it isn't the most used one. According to Albert Mahabride, a pioneer researcher of body language, the impact of a message will be 7% verbal, words only, 38% vocal, including tone, inflection, and 55% nonverbal. Ironically, a lot of our spoken language today emphasizes the importance of body language as a mode of communication through phrases like get it off your chest, stay at arm's length, keep your chin up, shoulder a burden, or face up to it. Nonverbal characters are seen throughout pop culture, and some of our time's greatest hits are are universally understood despite the lack of words. In era of silent movies, nonverbal acting was the only source of expression that permitted actors to convey emotions. In fact, Charlie Chaplin could induce every single emotion imaginable through silence. As an actor, he captivated his audience through his charm, gestures, and facial expressions alone. What makes silent movies so endearing is their ability to be understood by anyone. There are no language barriers. The harmony of body language is what deems any art form as iconic, whether it's Charlie Chaplin's walk, Mr. Bean's facial expressions, or Tom and Jerry's comical animations. They are all achieved through gestures and exaggerated motions. Body language. Before the invention of radios in 1890, most communication was through means like books, letters, and newspapers. Hence, poor public speakers and politicians like Abraham Lincoln could receive enough publicity and recognition through fine print. Yet in the 1900s and after the era of the radio, politicians had to have the trait of a good public speaking voice and a good command of words, which explains the rise of Winston Churchill. And perhaps today, none of those politicians might have done so well or fit into the importance and emphasis of visual image and captivation. Today, politicians have come to understand that politics is about how you present yourself and it's highly about image and appearance. In fact, it may come to surprise you that high profile politicians even have their own body language consultants to help them come across as a sincere, strong, and honest candidate. This practice is especially evident in the American Sign Language, where facial expressions and gestures are extremely important. Just like how some of our words in the English dictionary sound the same but differ by spelling, in ASL, some signs would have the same gesture, yet require facial expressions to convey different words or emotions. Every action in law or policing suggests the importance of emotional intelligence. You would be left astonished of how much every single simple action can reveal. Being able to interpret facial expression and body cues can help diffuse potentially threatening situations and provide the ability to determine if people are telling the truth. For example, to determine if people are telling the truth, you should be wary of certain characteristics that may indicate uh, more about the transparency of said person. Primarily, evaluate or look out for the person in question's physical behavior in response to your 
to your question. If the subject tends to break eye contact during responses, that's another compelling signal. The consistency of the subject's timing during their responses is also critical to consider, as well as the intonation of their response. Nonetheless, oftentimes it is hard to decipher body language as it's often subconscious and very subtle, but examining body language thoroughly can give us warnings of eminent actions that could take place. Hence, our faces being the most responsive and expressive parts of our body uh, can actually reveal a lot. Yet it's crucial to note that, that certain parts of your face are easily controlled or can be purposely manipulated to just sneering or pursing your lips. But actions that cannot be easily con controlled can be key indicators, such as pupil dilation, pulse, or sweat. Moreover, body language and policing are very prevalent in today's day and age and should be synonymously associated with each other. Comprehending the mechanics of body language could very much save lives. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Have you ever gotten your fortune read and been extraordinarily shocked at how accurate those readings were? Was November an unlucky month for you after all? Or did the pot of roses that you were supposed to plant in your garden actually contribute to your good fortune? Well, I'm afraid to break it to you, but those fortune tellers did not have psychic abilities, nor did they have a sixth sense. Yep, you guessed it, all roads lead back to body language. In fact, research into the nature of fortune telling tells us that fortune tellers use a technique known as cold reading, which can actually result in an accuracy up to 80%. It's actually a process based on careful observation of body language signals, human nature, and statistics. Practiced by fortune tellers, tarot card readers, and psychics, cold reading tossed in with a positive expectation of clients going into the reading, and along with careful word placements and body language interpretations, it might even be able to convince the least superstitious person that magical forces are at work. In the end, everything comes down to the reader's experience and ability to decipher and decode the customer's reaction to the questions and statements asked and said. Invest in some tarot cards, crystal balls, and some global customers, and you're on your way to starting your own fortune telling business. Hence, body language has been an evident method of communication throughout history and today's era, from a form of languages which originated from a group of chimpanzees and has been theorized to evolve into human beings, it truly does surpass all forms of historical, cultural, and geographical barriers. It can be as simple as a student raising their hand in a classroom or the president waving to a country of people. It can be a nervous criminal readily awaiting their trial or it could be a police officer defusing a situation. It could be an actor expressing their souls out or an insightful fortune teller. Body language manifests through an endless list of possibilities. As such an integral component of what enables us to pass and understand information to and from other people, nonverbal communication truly is an underappreciated art form ex expressed through the art of body language. We're using body language at the moment and as we bid farewell, hopefully you could take away something from today's talk. Thank you.